So as far as the minimum wage, you're moving here, but you are not fluent in Spanish yet. Pay for bilingual jobs is around 400 US dollars per month in general. What was the word they use? Xenophobic. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Welcome to a new video. Today, as the title suggests, I'm going to be talking all about how to get a job in Uruguay, what the options are for foreigners, whether you are a Spanish speaker, an English speaker, what the pay rates you can expect are, and so much more. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then please keep on watching. <sighs> My name is Maddie and over a year and a half ago my husband Alejandro and I moved to Uruguay. I've been living here ever since and documenting our journey online through vlogs and sit down informative and sometimes controversial videos where we've been sharing the truth about life here in this country. My goal with this channel has always been to share the good and the bad about the country because I could easily sit here and just share a sugar-coated influencer version but that just is not reality today's video of course is all about getting a job in uruguay i've been doing a lot of research and today we're going to cover getting a job as a foreigner specifically whether you are a native spanish speaker if you just know spanish if you're a native english speaker what pay rates to expect what kind of visas that are on offer and so much more I do have some notes on my laptop here, so if I'm looking down at any point reading, that's what it is. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. This is also the third time I've sat down to film this video. I almost had it the other day. On Friday, I filmed the first half of the video, I think three times, but then my vaccine effect started to kick in. So yes, I am finally fully vaccinated, two doses of Pfizer. I can share more about that in a future video because it has been a bit of a process, but today let's just get straight on into the content of job hunting. Now to start with a few disclaimers. I am not a job hunting expert. This information is based on my own experiences, both mine and Alejandro's through internet research and also through asking locals we know either in person or online. I have found personally this is the best source of information, not just on jobs but on anything and I, unfortunately this is something that takes a while to build up but I can share more about that in a future video. I currently have quite a good network of reliable sources online who've been able to help me with their, not only with their lived experience as Uruguayans or as foreigners living here for longer than I have, but also on sharing websites that I can go and find more information and just reputable stores and inf it's genuinely so helpful to have this little community. So I can share more about how to set up a little community like this in a future video if you're interested. I also want to preface that I am not an expert in law or in visas. If you have any questions on these topics, feel free to comment down below and I will try my best to direct you to the appropriate websites, but I don't want to be giving advice that I'm not qualified to share, so please keep that in mind. Also the jobs that I physically do for work, what I do for work and what I get paid for are not specifically tied to Uruguay and we will cover these at the end of the video because they are great options for anyone wanting to move here. Just having an online income that doesn't depend on your location can be really invaluable. Alejandro on the other hand has has been job hunting here specifically, has applied for jobs, done all the processes and also has friends who work in many different areas and have experience in different fields. So with all of that information, I have compiled it into this one video to share it all with you today. This might be a bit of a long one. I have some mate here, so maybe go make yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a glass of wine, depending on what time of the day it is. And let's get cracking into the video. Oh, finally, to any Uruguayans who are watching this, if you have any further information you would like to share or if I get anything wrong and you have a correction to make, please feel free to comment below. I don't know everything, I'm just trying my best and sharing the information that I have, 
but if you comment below i can pin your comment at the top so that other viewers can see it and benefit okay let's get on into topic number one <laughs> primero visas and regulations getting a visa here can be a process some people will say it is easy and others will say it is difficult the information I found through researching online, I'm just going to read this quote out word for word, is while Uruguay does not offer work visas as you find in other countries, you will find three straightforward strategies to work legally in the country. The provisional identity card, which is a, I believe, a temporary ID, temporary residence and permanent residence. I will leave the link to this website where I found this information in the comments or in the description box of this video. So go check there for more information. And then another source I found was about, can you work in Uruguay without a residency? And again, the response is, it's easier to work there as in Uruguay as an expat than it is in many other countries, thanks to the fact that any resident can legally work. So with that being said, if you have a residency, you can work here. They then go on to say that anyone with a permanent or temporary visa may work in Uruguay. Again, I don't know if this is correct. If you have further information, please comment down below, but I will link these two websites in the description box. So feel free to go do your own research. I would recommend that if you are looking into visas to check out your local embassy and ask them they will be able to give you more information. If your country has an embassy in Uruguay, contact them. They will be able to give you the best source of information that I simply just do not have. I, I know about the visas that I had on arriving to the country, but that was not about work. And because Alejandro is born a legal Uruguayan, because his mother was born here, that made it a lot easier for me. So yeah. That's the information I have on visas. <laughs> Segundo, what jobs can you expect to get in Uruguay as a Spanish speaker? Now by this, I mean, if you are immigrating from a South American country, these are the jobs that most South Americans will get. They are easy. They are pretty much all minimum wage jobs, but they're easier to get work as. And here's a list. So, First of all, delivery services. The versions here for Uber Eats are Rappi and Peritos Ya. Essentially, they are just delivery services. They do restaurant deliveries as well as um, pharmacy, supermarket, all kinds of things. Both companies are pretty much the same. I'm not sure if the pay is different. Most people will drive around on a motorcycle, but some just cycle. So I'm assuming you need to provide your own bike but otherwise it seems pretty easy to get a job as that. Again, the pay is not gonna be great, but you will receive more well, from most people, hopefully, tips, and that can, can all add up. Next is supermarkets as like a cashier or just stacking the shelves. The other basics are working in McDonald's, Subways, things like that. As a cleaner, what do they call it, a limpieza, I think is the word in Spanish. Or the final one was as a security guard, but Alejandro actually found from trying to apply to become a security guard, most security guard positions wanted you to have police training and or five years of experience with firearms and all of that. So if you have that kind of experience, then great. But for people like Alejandro, that was not an option. So we had to move on. Now, of course, if you are moving to Uruguay from somewhere in South America or from Spain or you just speak fluent Spanish and you have some kind of degree then by all means you will probably be able to work in that career. I'm not sure which jobs will require like a bridging course for example if you're a doctor in Spain I would assume that you could continue to be a doctor in Uruguay but again, I don't have personal experience with this, so I'm not sure. I know it does not always work the other way, but long story short, if you have a degree and you're a fluent Spanish speaker, of course, apply in that same area. But for everyone else, those are the most requested jobs by people on my Instagram, my 
good little network of reliable sources. Oh, actually one last thing. I did have a few, two girls from Cuba, Cuba, used to do my nails at a nail salon. So there's also the beauty industry would be another one. Again, you will need some kind of training, but maybe the spa that you work at will train you. So that's another option. I just thought of that right now. Tercero. Maybe like me, you're moving here, but you are not fluent in Spanish yet. Of course, I'm still learning and I'm getting better every day, but while I have a degree in Australia, and I think my degree would hold up here in nutrition and dietetics, I don't feel confident enough in my Spanish to work in that, in that area in Spanish. So, some other jobs for people who are English speakers include working in call centers, the tech industry, help desks, software or tech companies that sell to the US. These are the main jobs that people recommended. Again, these might not sound super glamorous, but what was recommended to me by locals is that apparently right now there are quite a few jobs for English speakers because there aren't that many fluent English speakers in the country. Of course, some Uruguayan natives are fluent in English just through studying, but not everyone. And jobs that work with the US, for example, sales companies who sell product in the US over the phone require you to have fluent English and they will pay you more because of it. <laughs> Cuarto, how to find the jobs. Of course, none of this is very helpful unless you know where to find the job listings. A surprising amount of people suggested searching for jobs on LinkedIn. I guess that's quite a common thing here. I'm not sure if that's only industry specific jobs or if that includes these kind of more minimum wage jobs as well, but it was recommended a number of times. A few job finding websites or apps are Busco jobs. This is an app you can get on your phone, but Alejandro actually found when he looked it up that it was linked as find or jobs. So I'll put both names up on the screen. I'm not sure if that's because his app store is in English or what, but Busco jobs, it does just mean like search jobs. So there's that. There are filters in this app for bilingual jobs, which is great if you are an English speaker. Many of these jobs that are bilingual that I mentioned in the previous section do not require you to have any level of Spanish because pretty much the whole day is gonna be in English unless you're talking to your like team members and they speak Spanish. So that is a great option. It is a job finding website for all of South America too. It's not just for Uruguay, it's for um, Mexico and Spain as well. So, so yeah, I guess just Spanish jobs, even though there is the option to search specifically for bilingual jobs. I will quickly mention that when he was doing the, like setting up his profile on the app, you had to, that was, this was on the website, so they must have an app and website that are linked, but he had to set up his profile and do a, like, questionnaire it to me almost seemed like a um, like a bit of a psych evaluation they would give you two options and you had to pick one or the other and that quiz was entirely in Spanish and they were timing you it was like two options like are you either lazy and don't want to work or something else negative so you had to pick one or the other even though you wouldn't necessarily want to say either of them so yeah that was a little bit strange just wanted to put that out there and if you didn't speak fluent spanish you would have to translate to just complete that quiz in order to apply for the jobs even if the jobs are completely in english so quick little tip there okay i have three more websites for job searching glassdoor is i have actually looked this one up it seems pretty legit linked in the description box and two others I haven't yet looked into are gajito.com and computrabajo.com so like computertrabajo.com again these will be linked in the description box I haven't looked up these last two so I'm not sure how the sites function but they were recommended and then finally following BTU which is Busco Trabajo Uruguay 
on Instagram was another common suggestion. I guess they post post recent jobs that are available on the Instagram. So yeah, check it out. Quinto. This next section is job specifically recommended to me for English speakers, as in specific companies or businesses that often hire English speaking foreigners or English speaking Uruguayans. So Alorica, Alorica, I'm not sure how you would pronounce this, but this is a call center for Amazon. The building is in Agunga Park and you only need to speak English. You do not need any Spanish to work there. Tata Consultancy was another one that was recommended many times. It's even suggested that the pay there is pretty good, but I'll talk more about that in the next section. Zone America. I'm not really sure what this company does, but most of these are those call centers and um, tech industry type of jobs. The World Trade Center was another one recommended. I'm not sure what you would do in the World Trade Center, like what kind of jobs are available, but I'm just sharing the information that was recommended to me. Um, a few friends of mine who currently live in the US are trying to get a job at the new Amazon building. It's probably a call center or something behind the scenes, but don't quote me on that. I will try to find some information and link it in the description box, but there is a new Amazon building being built and they are currently looking for workers. So look into that if you are interested. Okay, and the final recommendation I got was a company called Syngenta. Someone just told me what they get paid working there. So we'll get more to that in a second, but it is a multinational biotech company. I'm not really sure what this means or what you would do there, but I'm sure there are many options and I just wanted to put it out there. Sexto. Now we are finally going to talk about the most exciting part, which is money. I'm going to go through what the like, minimum wage here is. And then I also have specific examples of specific industries or specific companies, what the pay is and what their expected hours are. And this was all kindly offered over on my Instagram. As I mentioned earlier, it is really, really helpful to finally have a community of local Uruguayans who are happy to share things like this with me because this kind of information without basically going out there and asking people is very difficult to find. There are of course websites online where you can search for the average income, but whether or not that is accurate and unfortunately it does happen that people get underpaid. So it's really important to ask real people what they do, what kind of hours they work and how much they get paid because that is going to be the most helpful to actually knowing what it's going to be like for you when you get here. So as far as the minimum wage, I found that it was about 117 pesos per hour, which is $2.66 US dollars this is. Or someone else suggested, two separate people suggested that it was 16,000 pesos per month, which works out to be about 40 hours a week for the month at that minimum wage of 117 pesos. So that seems pretty accurate. Okay, as far as the average income, I have average household income and average per capita income. Again, I'm gonna just be looking down for this, but I will put the screenshot up on the, on the screen for you. In Montevideo, the average household income is 78,388 pesos per month or 1,848 US dollars. Outside of Montevideo, so in the rest of the country, it is a lot lower because many families out or further out from the city will work in like farming jobs, which unfortunately often get paid a lot less, even though they're vital to the economy. But the rest of Uruguay, the average household income is 53,501 pesos or 1,262 US dollars. And this is per month. Now, Quick little disclaimer when talking about money, if I am saying a number and to you that sounds high or maybe it sounds very low, this is highly dependent on where you grew up. For example, with minimum wage, for me growing up in Australia, the minimum wage here of $2.60 an hour seems crazy low because minimum wage in Australia, even for a teenager, is like 
eleven dollars or twelve dollars or thirteen i'm not even sure but it is a lot higher than less than three dollars an hour but if you've moved from another south american country or even some places in the u.s pay really poorly it's all just so subjective so that's why i'm just going to tell you the numbers and try to minimize saying this is a really good pay this is really low because it's gonna it's gonna be different for everyone so from asking on my instagram i actually did a little poll I'll put the question box up here on what people get paid per hour if it's less than $5, 5 to $10, 10 to 25 I think, or over $25 an hour, and then what country they live in. So these responses are not all from Uruguayans, but most are. And most people who selected $25 and over were my friends or family from back in Australia. So from this and from the information I'm about to share, I found out that most people in the country who do not have degrees get paid in the $5 US per hour or less, which is around the minimum wage or up to double minimum wage because $5 an hour is 219 pesos an hour. So if you worked 40 hours a week at this rate, that's two or just less than 200 US dollars a week or less than 8,784 pesos per week which again here five dollars an hour is actually considered quite a good pay if you've gone through university you're likely to get more than that but okay so here are some comments that i received from my question box so some real experiences for example where i work we speak directly with the us and make five dollars an hour um, someone else suggested that the pay for bilingual jobs is around 400 US dollars per month in general. They did not offer like a hours of work or um, or specific industries. That was just a general assumption, I guess. All right, then we have Tata Consultancies, as I mentioned previously in the jobs for English speakers or in the specific industry recommendations. Someone suggested that it's around a thousand US dollars per month working 40 hour weeks, and that is the call center. This seems very high compared to some of the other options, so I'm not 100% sure if this is an accurate number, but a thousand US dollars a month for 40 hours a week, again, compared to some other options, seems pretty good. Okay, another follower said that working at Syngenta Biotech Multinational Company as a payment processor analyst, she makes 17,000 US dollars a year. Okay, then another person gave me two job options. So their previous job was a secretary working eight hours a week for 24,000 pesos per month. So 24,000 divided by four weeks, divided by eight hours, is 750 pesos per hour. Which I'm realizing now that this actually equals over $16 an hour, and there's a possibility that she meant eight hours per day. So I'll put up those calculations as well, but this is all the information I received. Which seems pretty high to me, considering minimum wage is like 117. And then as a marketing assistant, or assistente de marketing, She's now working six hours per week for 22,500 pesos per month. Okay, and 22,500 pesos divided by four weeks in a month, divided by six hours a week, comes to just over 700 pesos per hour, I believe, which is still good, but it's less than the secretary at the previous job. Okay, and the final number I have to share with you is Windham Hotels getting 25 to 28,000 pesos per month. And that role is an English speaking role. I do also know people who work in um, like the food service industry, even in nice companies and they get paid minimum wage and would probably very rarely receive tips because most people will order through delivery apps and then tip the delivery driver. So in Situations like that, the pay is going to be more like the minimum wage at yeah 117 pesos an hour, working quite a lot of hours. Okay, septimo. A few 
thoughts that are some of them are my own thoughts and others are warnings from locals. Uruguay can be a wonderful country, but many Uruguayans have told us that some of the people here can be fairly racist or what was the word they used? Xenophobic. If like me, you are a foreigner, but you are white, just like many places in the world, unfortunately, white privilege does exist. So I feel like these jobs suggested to me are specifically for English speaking foreigners. If you are moving from Australia, New Zealand, um, the US, England, anywhere in the UK. But so I know some of my viewers are from places like India. And if you are from India and you don't speak fluent Spanish and you also don't speak fluent English, I would find getting a job here to be quite challenging. I don't want to tell you that it is impossible. Maybe Uruguayans in the comments could share any information. If anyone knows of people from India, Thailand, in Indonesia, because I know a lot of my viewers are from these countries. If you know someone living here from those countries, please offer any case studies as in real people and their experiences or any advice in the comments and I will try to share it in a future video. Again, this isn't to say don't come here. I'm just saying that it might be more challenging than it would be for someone like me. Luckily, English is my first language and that is a real benefit when looking for jobs here. All right, next, there are jobs for foreigners, but it might be difficult to secure if you don't have connections. Uruguay is such a small country that everyone knows everyone quite literally so those kinds of connections can be really valuable but if you're just new in a country you know that's going to be really difficult so again connecting with people through facebook groups online or what i've done is just through like instagram and making tiktok videos <laughs> which sounds silly but it genuinely has helped but i know there are a lot of expat facebook groups if you join those it can be good to build up a little community and get help through those groups in finding jobs another little note is that just like in many countries it does happen that people will get paid less than minimum wage and people will try to take advantage of you if you are a foreigner and they know that you're desperate so even nice looking businesses might be paying their workers less than minimum wage Okay, another point is that because university in Uruguay is free for residents, most jobs will be looking for you to have a university degree, which is great for Uruguayans, but if you've moved from another country who didn't have free education, like in Australia, where university or any kind of tertiary education costs a lot of money, then, you know, that will set you back behind someone who has a degree, especially if they're already a local, they're going to be favored for the jobs and they've got that piece of paper that you might not have. And lastly, um, someone mentioned in another comment that getting paid over $25 an hour here is almost impossible. They, I don't believe they were talking about working in the medical field, for example, or anyone in law, of course, those professions do get paid more than someone who's a hairdresser or a cleaner or who works as a teacher. And that's the same all over the world, but $25 an hour is quite uncommon to get here. And if you are able to get a job in that pay rate, then you're doing very well by Uruguayan standards. Finalmente, working online. Now, sorry this video has been so long. I will try to get through this last section as quickly as possible. If you would like a whole video on this final point, then let me know in the comments because this is what I do. Finding work online can be a really good option because your pay is not going to be dependent on local standards. Some of the things I do personally are teaching a language. I teach English over on the website Preply. I've mentioned it before when I was learning Spanish and I was taking classes on that website and then I thought to myself, okay, I could actually teach English. Why not? I'm also not a qualified teacher as in I didn't go to university to study teaching. I don't have a course in English teaching or anything and you don't need one. 
it will be beneficial if you have one and then you can probably charge people more but you don't need one to teach on the website you just have to make yourself a profile set your own rate and fill in a whole lot of information about yourself and your teaching style and then wait for students to message you and try to book a lesson now i've set my rate at 12 us dollars an hour which is again a lot higher than you would likely get locally getting a job in uruguay so that is another benefit the platform will take a 30 percent commission the more hours you teach the commission goes down but that's going to be the same on most platforms you could of course set up your own english teaching school but then you need contacts and advertising whereas this website is good because it will um, advertise your profile to new students for free and it's a great way to get students without really having to try that hard i've had a lot of success but the thing with these kinds of platforms is you could either be working full time if you happen to get lots of students or you could be working zero hours a week if no students message you to book classes then you don't get paid which is why these which is why the incentive is to lower your rates so that more students will want to book a class with you but you could charge $40 an hour if you wanted to you probably wouldn't get many students but maybe you would if you had really great reviews okay YouTube obviously I make these videos and I also have a second channel that's about fashion I'm going to be completely transparent and tell you some of the figures what I get paid and all that so make some notes if you're interested this YouTube channel only makes about $40 to $50 US dollars per month right now. We have just over 1,300 subscribers and we get on average 10,000 or 10,700 views per month. So this is not something we could live off of, but it is a nice bonus and it all adds up. If you would like any tips on starting a YouTube channel, then comment down below. I could make a video on that in the future, but it is a slow growing process but the more people who like these videos subscribe and comment down below the more viewers will see them the more people we can help and the more money i can make making these videos which means the more videos i can make so there we go on the youtube final thought is that due to covid while it has been very challenging for many people including myself it does mean that many jobs now offer opportunities regardless of your physical location. So do some research, find some companies internationally. Maybe you can get a job in different industries than you even thought or in different countries than you plan on living because now people have the capacity to work from home. If you have a laptop with a webcam, it doesn't even have to be Apple. It could be a much cheaper one. We only have these because we do editing of these videos with a laptop or just a webcam and a desktop computer you can work from anywhere and do a variety of different things that people would have previously required you to come physically into the office to do that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions about anything i've covered today please do not hesitate to comment down below. I love to hear your feedback. I would love to know what country you're from if you are planning to move to Uruguay or even if you're just watching this for information's sake and what the minimum wage is in your country because it is so different in so many different countries. But if you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out in growing and of course subscribe if you're not already. In the next few weeks of videos, I have so many ideas, everything from Uruguayan Spanish tips. I'm hoping to get a linguist on, someone who teaches Spanish, who's a lot more qualified than me to give this information and maybe do a video on the healthcare system. What else did I have? Education, what I wish I knew about Uruguay before moving here and so much more. So comment below what you would like to see first and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Hasta, hasta pronto, hasta la próxima y chao. Besos.